engineering challenges the insurmountable. With the advance of the NATM technique, tunnels are no longer considered difficult, unsafe and expensive construction works. In addition to major roadways, this technique is used in homes and companies without size or obstacle limits. Diversification in the use of tunnels in engineering projects is due primarily to the development of the new Austrian tunneling method. The NATM is a process of construction of tunnels rapid and secure. The geotechnia moderna has helped the process with ferramentas that improve the security of the excavation, such as infilagens, grampeamentos de frente, rebaixamento de lençol, etc. Este processo é utilizado em túneis rodoviários, ferroviários e metroviários que são os mais conhecidos da população em geral. Mas o método NATM é a solução para outras necessidades de interligação e transposição de obstáculos também. NATM allows for the construction of tunnels at viable and low cost with low environmental impact because it is based on a simple concept mobilizing internal resistance tensions of the soil massif to support the soil and overloads. Stability is obtained from redistributing tension. In order to achieve this, the tunnel is built in complete stages consisting of excavation and immediate wall stabilization. During excavation, a portion of the ground is left intact, the so-called nucleus. In addition to serving as the stabilization element for the front of the excavation, the nucleus serves as a work platform for application of the steel mesh and application of the concrete layer. The tunnel is built in stages. A new section is only started once the walls of the earlier part have been stabilized. Each advance is considered a critical stage in the construction project. This successive construction process makes it possible to prevent and correct contingencies. A good construction method includes permanent monitoring of all construction details. Information is assessed by a team of engineers and technicians. Any abnormal movement is quickly detected and corrected at the construction site. This constant flow of information allows for absolute control of the construction, ensuring gains in safety, agility, and productivity. Many times it is necessary to reinforce a section of the soil massif to correct instabilities. In general, the project includes the use of four poles, girders, inverted provisional arch, or treatment side excavation. Four poles are iron structures. The size and quantity are determined by the retaining needs. The direction and angle in which the four poles are affixed varies according to the project. After the drilling, the drill pipe is cleaned and prepared for grouting. Finally, the four pole is completed with the introduction of the steel tube through the drill pipe. The process is repeated for each new excavation section. There are cases where soil stabilization may require, in addition to four poles, the use of a supplementary provisional support structure. In these cases, girders are used. Made of rolled metal or latticed steel bars, girders are built and molded according to the excavation geometry. The size and space of a girder depends on the behavior of the soil massif during excavation. The tunnel support works like a continuous ring that, at each stage, must be finalized. In many cases, the construction method includes the provisional closing of an arch to stabilize an area of the soil massif while the excavation is underway. In the end, with the excavation of the tunnel shaft, 
the provisional inverted arch is demolished and substituted for the definitive inverted arch, now constructed in its final position. Four poles, girders, treatment side excavation, and provisional inverted arches are resources used in the construction of tunnels. They mobilize the resistance tensions of the soil massive that surrounds the tunnel so that it ends up supporting itself. Although they are not considered in the support's final structure, they form the backbone of the construction. Each section is finalized with the application of a shotcrete and steel meshes. Sometimes special needs and interventions are required during a dig. If water is found in the trajectory, the most frequent solution is the dewatering, which is accomplished through any combination of vacuum pipes, injector wells, or deep drains. The flexibility of the NATM even allows for changing the trajectory of the tunnel in order to preserve natural resources or earlier constructions, as in the case of this oil pipeline. NATM is the basis for building tunnels regardless of their final use. They ensure celerity, safety, and low environmental impact. It is exactly because of their flexibility and scope that use of this technique depends on deep understanding and the precise application of the basic concepts of the technique. We have shown the result of our engineering feats and the skill of our experienced and creative teams. The building methods employed and the equipment developed by Solotron make this company a reference for the use of NATM in Brazil. <laughs>